831 is a time and happening today. Habitat for Humanity is dedicating its latest home to a family in need in San Jose. And here at Cron 4, we are partnering with the organization to share more about what they do. So uh, like we did live at 730, we went to Cron 4's James Fletcher. He got there early this morning. And now let's check in and see how things are coming along. I see you got the shirt sleeves up and it's warmer out there now. That's right. I mean, I'm getting into work mode here. We've got the, the sleeves rolled up and the punch list ready to go. This is what still needs to be done here for the house, Daria. We've got clearing the driveway. We've got installing cabinets, bathroom doors, rehanging doors, the kitchen sink. We still have everything but the kitchen sink still to do, or including the kitchen sink, I guess you could say. In fact, let's go in and take a look. We've got Jackie here able to walk up through the front door, which again is on the punch list that still needs to get installed, but they're well on their way to doing that. And as we take a live look inside, you can see they're hard at work. Again, the cabinets, the trim, the sink, all of that still needs to go in, and the appliances too, which are behind Jackie. So it's an exciting project out here. Let's come back out, let them continue on with their work, and let's chat some more with Janice, the CEO of Habitat for Humanity East Bay in Silicon Valley, and talk more about the house, the event this afternoon, and the family that's going to be enjoying a brand new home. And we should probably mention they're not just being given this home. Oh, no. They earned this home. Talk to me about yeah, what they had to go through. The home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This family is fantastic, and, and like so many families, Families in, especially in Silicon Valley, but anywhere in the Bay Area, affordable housing is really hard to come by. Uh, they lived in all kinds of rental housing and that was not safe for their children to play outside. It was overcrowding. And then when they found the Habitat program, they realized that not only could they find a safe, healthy home, but they could own it and with their limited income. And they got into the Habitat program and they've done their sweat equity and today is their big celebration. Talk to me about that sweat equity. What is what does that mean? It means they helped build this house and in this case they helped renovate this house alongside all of our volunteers. There are about 3,000 volunteer hours that went into renovating this house. Studs out, remodeled, so we started from the foundation out. Um, and they were here every step of the way helping wow. to build their own home. That's pretty incredible. And so this afternoon then it all culminates with the ceremony where they get handed the keys. Mm -hmm. I have to imagine that'll be probably pretty emotional for them. It's always, if there's a dry eye in the house, that, that never <laughs> happens, but uh, but no, it's very emotional. And the, and the volunteer community comes together to celebrate with them. Um, and so it's a it's a very emotional day for them and a huge celebratory day. They've they've earned this and, yeah. and we do sell these homes. I don't want anybody to think of this as a giveaway program. Right. And the city was uh, involved since the beginning and they're gonna be out here as well with the mayor? Yes, the mayor this afternoon is going to be out here riding his bike with it. We have a cycle of hope ride that calls attention to habitat and the need for affordable housing. We have a team that's riding across the country to raise money. But this afternoon, the mayor, uh, along with Carl Guardino, with the Silicon Valley Leadership Group, the CEO, and many other dignitaries are going to be riding around San Jose uh, looking at different affordable housing. Any bets on that, five? Um, Anyone? Projects that Habitat has done, talking to families who have been living in their Habitat home. And, and he, there will be a mayor cam going on so he will be riding his bike with the uh, with the camera rolling very good, very good. so we're going to come back in our next uh, opportunity with Janice we'll talk more about uh, how you can get involved how maybe you can donate your time your money whatever you can and you guys are also getting involved in Nepal and others that's in the news recently and mm -hmm. they've got a crew headed that way and we'll talk more about that as well thank you Janice we'll see you again in a little bit all right back to you guys yeah and James if you really want to look the part it would help if you were a little dirty I mean I know you rolled up your sleeves but that's not <laughs> enough so go for <laughs> Splatter some dirt on yourself or something. Uh, I did. Clearly done I, nothing. I loosened the tie just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So okay. I've, I've done that at least. Thanks a lot, James. <laughs> right, Mark? Yeah. Get that man a hammer. <laughs>